How to make a guy like you over text. Hello and welcome to Activate the Goddess. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we release new dating and relationship concepts almost daily. Now let's get into it. 1. Never, ever text just hi. I don't know when we started getting so lazy, but the hi text is by far the laziest possible option when it comes to texting. Sure, you're just trying to prod him to see if he's around and wants to text, but there are so many more creative ways to get his attention. Instead, give him a reason to respond. Here are a few examples. Hey good looking. How's your morning going? Holla cutie. Been thinking of you all morning. What each of these examples does is A. Let's him know you're thinking about him, and B. Give him something to respond to. The entire point of texting is to engage in conversation, so keep your goal in mind. Are you looking to make plans with him for tonight? Just catch up on your day. Have a more heartfelt conversation. Keep that goal in mind when you initiate a conversation. 2. Show him you have a life. I know it seems silly that men would like it when you're unavailable, but don't underestimate the power of the chase. Make yourself too available, and you might turn him off. But show him that you're a busy lady with lots going on, and he'll want you even more. If you want to learn how to text a guy to keep him interested, let him know you're not always available. If you're headed out with friends, respond to his text, but let him know you're walking out the door, and that you'll check in later. First of all, this is just courteous because, and you know I'm right, when you send a text and someone doesn't respond for hours, you start to get nervous. This way, you're acknowledging his text, but also letting him gently know you're not available. You can also text him about what you're up to. Send him a photo of the fish you just caught or the band you're watching. This makes him feel more connected to you while also showing him that you're not sitting around waiting for him to text. Here are some examples. Good to hear from you. I'm actually walking out the door to meet friends for happy hour. Can I get back to you tonight? Just saw the most amazing jazz band at the restaurant I'm at. You'd love them. Picture 3. Ask him questions. You know you love it when the guy you're dating asks you questions about your life and interests, so why wouldn't you reciprocate? Asking questions about his job, his family, his hobbies, or his day is an excellent strategy in how to text a guy to keep him interested. By showing your own interest in his life, he is reassured that you dig him, and he'll respond in kind. Hey, how did that big meeting go today? I was crossing my fingers for you. 4. Don't always respond immediately. Okay, I don't normally advocate playing games and dating, but this isn't really a game. It's more of a strategy that will help you down the road. What happens if you text him back within seconds now, but a few weeks or months from now you lose interest and drag out the time between responses? He'll pick up on that immediately. Also, again, is the chase factor. If you respond too quickly, he'll feel like you're always available, and that will take the challenge away. Another good rule of thumb is to pay attention to how quickly, or slowly, he is to respond to your texts. If he takes all day, you certainly don't need to reply to him within seconds. But if he's fast to respond, you can do the same. I don't have an example for this tip on how to text a guy to keep him interested. Just wait twice as long as you want to before you respond. Or put your phone across the room so you actually don't hear that he's texted you. 5. Use emojis without going overboard. Just as texting has evolved over the past years, so has the use of emojis. It's not just teenagers using them. Emojis can better express the intention behind your words, which is important because it's all too easy to misinterpret a text. But pay attention to how often you use those emojis, and gifts are great, too. If this guy never sends a single emoji, you don't want to come off as juvenile by peppering your texts with them. Match his cadence. 6. Let him initiate, sometimes. Your sister's coming to town tomorrow, right? What do you have planned? 7. Be witty One of the best ways to build a bond with a man you're dating is through witty banter. It balances the heavier conversations, what do you do? What are you looking for? Have you ever been married? And laughter is a great connector. In psychological studies, researchers found that men like women to be funny, especially at the start of a relationship. It indicates to them flirtatiousness and receptivity. So throw some witty lines out there via text. You think you can beat me in the 5k tomorrow? You better pack a lunch. Show me yours and I'll show you mine I was talking about tattoos, perv. What did you think I meant? A. Know when to take it off text. The fact is. Texting isn't always the best communication channel for the situation. Phone calls are better. Face-to-face -face allows the conversation to flow faster and better, so if your texts are getting lengthy or the subject is heavy, his grandmother is dying, suggest you change the channel. Catherine Hurtlane, a psychologist at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, says it's important to determine the best channel for the conversation. She says that asynchronous methods, like texting, are better for problem solving, because they give you more time to digest the information you've gotten, and think about how you want to reply. Synchronous methods, like a phone call or video chat, can be more engaging for more serious conversations. I can talk faster than I can type. Want to continue this conversation on the phone? 9. Occasionally send a photo. Communication isn't just verbal or written. You can also communicate with a photo now and then, sent via text or Snapchat. It's okay to send a cute selfie occasionally, but please, ladies, don't overdo it. 
Sending too many selfies to him can come off as conceited or self-involved. Instead, mix it up. Send a photo of something you think he'd laugh at or a snapshot of what you're doing right now. Ask for them back. If he's hiking today, ask for a pic of the summit. Having him share photos is a great way to keep him engaged and can take the conversation to a new level. My souffle turned out great. Just call me Julia Child. Photo of the souffle you made such a beautiful day. Wish you were here with a photo of you at the beach. Texting can be a fantastic platform for getting to know a guy you're dating. But pay attention to his behavior rather than putting all your focus on how to text him to keep him interested. Is he initiating a lot of your conversations? Does he reply quickly? Are his answers terse or more in-depth? Does he ask you questions? But don't just analyze his texts. Is he also making an effort to see you in person? If he's not, you have what amounts to a pen pal. If you're texting and texting with no plans in sight, be a sexy confident lady and ask him out. If he makes excuses, this guy has no intention of meeting you. He's in it to get his ego stroked by your amazing texts. Do you see yourself using this to improve your dating life? Then grab your free copy, absolutely free, of our dating guide, how to get a man to love you in the description below. Also if you like this type of content please leave a like and click on subscribe to discover the real reasons why men lose interest and what men really want from women. Just follow the first link below to become a woman he craves. Thanks for watching.